India will soon test its long pending indigenous fighter jet engine, the Kaveri, on a Tejas light combat aircraft. Now, this is a huge milestone in the nation's aerospace ambitions. According to this report in news portal Defense.in, the GTRE has developed a new, more powerful afterburner for the Kaveri engine, and this will be now tested on an actual Tejas Mark I prototype. So, will the Desi Kaveri engine replace the American GE engines on the Tejas in the future, making the Tejas nearly 100% Indian? Fighter jet engine technology is the pinnacle of defense manufacturing. This is why India is still fine-tuning its first jet engine at a time when the country already builds its own nuclear submarines, aircraft carriers, and has even sent satellites to Mars. The Kaveri engine had produced 49 to 50 kN thrust in recent ground tests, which exceeded initial expectations. With the original afterburners, the thrust went up to 70 to 75 kN. Yet, this was marginally lower than the thrust to weight requirement by the Indian Air Force for the Tejas. Now, with the integration of the new afterburner, the Kaveri is expected to produce nearly 80 kN of thrust. This will place the Indian Kaveri on par with the American GE F404 engine, which is currently being used to power the Tejas Mark 1s and Tejas Mark 1As. The GE F404 produces 48.9 kN of dry thrust and 78.7 kN with afterburners, which is among the best in class. Developed by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment under the Defense Research and Defense Organization, the DRDO, this next generation Kaveri engine could then complement and even replace the American GE F404 engines for the 180 Tejas Mark 1As on order. This after the Indian Air Force placed an additional order of 97 Mark 1As after the initial order of 83. So all the buzz centers around GTRE's newly developed afterburner for the dry Kaveri engine. If this test is a success, India would be able to cut reliance on foreign suppliers but also be able to expand the scale of production and maintenance while increasing control on the supply chain and lowering costs. So the new engine, dubbed Kaveri 2.0, will now be tested on an initial Tejas prototype which had been manufactured or an older limited series production variant rather than a Tejas in service with the Indian Air Force. According to reports, the Indian Air Force had suggested testing this engine on a twin-engine fighter jet or an unmanned aircraft. However, the GTRE is confident of using the Tejas prototype. The test, officials believe, is necessary to establish the engine's viability and collect vital flight data. The ultimate goal is to now fine-tune the Kaveri 2.0 to eventually achieve 83 to 85 kN of thrust, which would catapult it into the league of the most modern power plants for combat aircraft in its class. The Kaveri's journey to this point has been arduous and long. The Kaveri engine project started in 1989 on the vision of equipping India's future fighter aircraft with an indigenous engine. For more than three decades, it encountered technological challenges, delays and shifting specifications. But persistence, technology development and strategic imperative has kept the project moving forward. To also independently confirm the performance, the Kaveri engine is also being tested in Russia at the elite Gromov Flight Research Institute. An Illusion IL-76 transport plane is being used as a flying test bed. One of the IL-76's four engines will be replaced temporarily by the Kaveri for actual flight tests. With flight testing time of about 25 hours, these tests are mandatory requirements to its eventual induction into Indian fighter jets. Now, one technical issue of major importance still to be addressed is its weight. The latest Kaveri engine tips the scales at about 1,180 kilograms, well above the 1,036 kilograms for the GE F404. This weight disparity may compromise the Tejas's agility and performance envelope. To overcome this, the GTRE is also collaborating with Indian aerospace materials specialists such as 
Mishra Dhatu Nigam Limited to create lighter, high-strength alloys and optimize manufacturing techniques to shed engine weight without compromising strength or performance. Despite these challenges, however, the momentum is undeniable. A success by the Kaveri engine would not only add strength to the credibility of India's aerospace research and development ecosystem, but also erase the strategic vulnerability associated with being technology dependent on other countries. India currently buys military grade engines from the United States, Russia, as well as France. A dynamic that can be both costly as well as geopolitically limiting. The planned certification of the dry Kaveri engine is for 2032, a timeline that actually reflects the technological and technical complexity of aero engine development. If successful, this will be the realization of India's long-term dream of manufacturing a fighter aircraft powered by Made in India engines. As the Kaveri awaits its most important test to date, one thing is clear. This is not just a technological experiment. It's a test of India's determination to forge its own destiny. Bharat Mata ki. But what do you believe? How important is the Kaveri engine for India's strategic independence? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to Inconnect News.